So I have personally sold over hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of life insurance over the phone at age 23 sitting in this chair. And I wanna share with you the three things that I wish I knew before I jumped into this industry. Now I want to share with you the truth about what it's like selling insurance, how you can make a ton of money with life insurance, and most importantly, share with you the things that I wish I knew, the things or the videos that I could have watched before I jumped into this industry. Now what I wanna share with you is not only my experiences, but I wanna document and share with you a conversation conversation that I had with a guy who was making over $100,000 per year thinking about going all in, quitting his job, selling life insurance because he was sold this amazing dream. Now, before I share with you any more, I want to let you know that you can make a ton of money selling life insurance. 98% of people fail out insurance, but I want to share with you the real truth about what people motivate you or why people recruit you. And I simply have nothing but to tell you to hopefully save you time, money, and energy jumping into this industry. It's a great vehicle, but there's a lot of things that you need to know that I wish I knew that I want to share with you and be completely transparent. I want you to win. I want you to actually make money in this industry, and I don't want you to be lied to. So in today's video, I want to share with you that one video that I wish I saw when I first got started or was pitched the opportunity of selling life insurance. Now, the reason is that most people do fail because they don't have the right training. They don't know how to sell. They don't know how to close. They don't actually know what the product is. And most importantly, they just find themselves getting themselves a job, even though that they're probably not fit out for selling life insurance. And no, I do not want to recruit you. I don't want you on my team. I just want you to hopefully change your life. The one thing that I wish I knew a lot earlier jumping into this industry, I was sold the, you know, the dream of how you can make all this money, how you can this amazing lifestyle. I want to share with you that everyone that is, you know, in your life or telling you to get into this insurance industry simply has their agenda. Now, how the insurance business works and something that I'm coming to find out is that if you want to build, you know, a lot of wealth in insurance, if you want to make a ton of money, it simply comes down to you being able to recruit a lot of people. You look at some of the most successful insurance agents and people that have the biggest teams that are, you know, implementing leverage, they are becoming wealthy because they are, you know, able to build and capture a ton of people under them. So how this industry works is that if you're thinking you're going to come in here and just be a solo entrepreneur, make a ton of money, that that might be a little bit different than what you first expect. Now, the reason I share this is because when you're jumping into the insurance industry and you're going to start selling life insurance, you're going to be making twenty, thirty thousand dollars they tell you, is that they don't also tell you that you have to manage your clients, you have to manage your chargebacks, to manage your debt, you have to manage, you know, you know client acquisition, you have to manage your referrals, you are becoming your own business owner. But the one thing that I wish someone would have told me earlier is that if you want to make a ton of money jumping into this industry is that you make most of your money simply recruiting. Hence, this is why the people on social media, on YouTube that you look up to and probably have heard their names, I'm not going to name them, um, they are simply trying to build content, build this illusion to re recruit you into their funnel, give you a small compensation or sell you this big dream that's going to get you into the door, start selling life insurance, not give you the proper training, not give you the proper tools. You're then going to fail out of the business they're going to keep your clients and they're going to make money off of you. So the way that this insurance industry works, if you are partnering or trying to find a place to live or a place to partner with or a person to lead you in your insurance journeys, that they all have a motivation. The way I was able to discover this was when I first was reaching out to people who were saying they're making $30,000, $40,000, I was just getting started in insurance. I was like, hey, is there anything that I can do to learn from you? I will pay you on the weekend. I will pay you $1,000, $2,000 but they all wouldn't share away their secrets unless I joined their team. So the one thing that you need to be mindful of is understand who your leader is, understand who's actually guiding you. Are they actually doing the work? Are they putting in the reps? Are they actually making money with you? Are they just simply selling you a dream to get you in the chair to start selling so they can make money off of you? So understand that you can make a ton of money personally selling. I've done it myself. I've made over hundreds of thousands of dollars selling life insurance personally, but the reason is 99% of people fail out is because they don't know how to sell, they don't have the skills, they don't have the strategies, they don't know how, how to actually do it, they don't have the business acumen and they fail because they were sold this dream, but in order to actually stay afloat, you typically have to recruit a ton of people to make all this money. So understand that life insurance in general in itself is an insurance recruiting business. Now the second thing that I wanna share with you is uh, the conversation that I had with this gentleman. He was like, hey, I'm making you know, really good money, I live in Texas, I'm um, thinking about quitting my $100,000 job because I'm just jumping in. Like, I want to go all in, I want to make all this money. But I do want to share with you the one thing that I wish I knew, and I wish I didn't jump into it as fast as I did, is that. If you're thinking about insurance, do not quit your full-time job um, to start selling life insurance. Now, a lot of the people that are telling you or coaching you or telling you that they're gonna be on their team or telling you, hey, go out there, quit your job and go all in. Now, the reason that they do this is because they wanna use your time, have you selling more, to start recruiting more, 
and can help build their business. Again, it comes back to building their business. So the one thing I want to be mindful of is just treat selling life insurance as an experiment. Treat like getting into this new opportunity as a journey, as a trial, and see how you're actually doing in one to two months. The one thing is, if you're not sticking with it, or if you're like you know not really you're just touching you no know, here and there, and not really diving into it, then there's a reason that you're gonna fail. But before you quit your job, before you hear about this opportunity, before you like think I'm gonna go all in, everyone's making all this money, I'm gonna quit my job tomorrow, I'm gonna figure this all out. Be mindful buy your leads or figure out the insurance learn the products do it part-time from like 4 to 8 p.m. I did this part-time as well and it's gonna help you save a ton of headache and more importantly allow you to not extract all your cash all your your resources that you've been saving you know in your life to jump into this business it's a lot harder than people think and I don't want you to like be a single mom I don't want you to be a parent that's trying to go or sell their house and you become and you lose all this money and you think the insurance industry sucks but you just were told to jump in to do it full-time and now you are are in a really bad position because you were not prepared and you didn't have the skills to actually win in this industry. So be mindful. If they tell you to quit your job, just understand like, why would I quit my job? You can do this part-time. If someone tells you you can't do it part-time, then maybe you should actually understand who am I working for? And if they're going to tell you that you have to quit your job, then just understand that's typically a red flag. The third thing and the most important thing that I wish I knew is that I'm going to be really honest and transparent here is that 99% of people, I'd say 90% of people that are saying they're making all this money in insurance are flat broke. Now, the reason that I want to share this with you is because there is this, you know, this perception, this dream that's out there that simply hooks people in to get you recruited under them. When you are going into this industry, I want you to know that most people are not making money. The reason that I share my bank statements in the previous videos, the reason why I share that I've made $21,000 this month strictly selling life insurance is because my word, my reputation means everything. And the truth is most people will sell you the dream of that they sold all this product, they sold all this business, they sold all this, you know, all they, they produce all this revenue, but what does their bank account actually reflect? How much money do they have? Are they spending all their money on leads? Are they not making any money with their clients? Are they you know, getting bad business? Are they getting chargebacks? The one thing that I wish I knew so much earlier is that a lot of us will fall into the trap of thinking that people are making all this money, but it's simply a recruiting tool to get you in, to get you in a chair, then, and then to make money off of you. So how this game works, and I want to break it down on the three topics that I made. It's recruiting business, don't quit your job, and check the bank accounts, and make sure that people are actually making money, because 99% of people are probably not making money in this industry, is what they do is you simply you're told this opportunity you get pitched this opportunity you come into the opportunity you're selling you start making some money your upline now makes money in the, off of you the person that recruited brought you in is now making money off of you let's say you're struggling let's say you're not making any, any money you then leave well guess what they keep your clients um and, and you can continue to re re rinse and repeat where people will come in it's like a revolving door that will happen with most insurance businesses so be very mindful if you don't have the business acumen if you don't have the skills if you don't know how to really operate business that you're probably just another body in a seat and I don't want you to feel like this but this is the truth they like the insurance business thrives off of recruits when they say it's not an MLM it's typically an MLM unless you're plugged in get good training and low comp and that's gonna be the only way that you can actually handle that way of just building a business without recruiting people so that's kind of the three things that I wish I knew. And it's funny because I'm personally you know growing an insurance business right now but my reputation means a lot more to me and I want people to actually hear the truth about this industry. I've done very well in this industry. I don't want to discourage discourage like you know frighten you from this industry, but I just want to share with you and prevent you from being upset about the industry. And I just want to share with you the three truths, the three things that you need to be mindful of when you're jumping into this into this industry, that it's a beautiful game if you know how to play the game right. And you have to then compromise your values or sometimes your skills to see if this, if this game is right for you. So be mindful of kind of where you are in your insurance business. If you're thinking about getting started, like what your you know purpose and motivation is. And just understand that most people just typically have an agenda for you. So, um, Looking back on my six, seven months in this industry, you know, this is the video that I wish I saw a lot earlier. This is a video that I wish someone would have showed me and I wish I could have been, you know, as you know, just got a lot of clarity because now I would say that I would pay all the money in my life to give me the lens or clarity on things that I didn't see like I used to, like 
pro, uh, like perception is everything to me. We now see things at a different light because we actually gone through it. We've seen the results and we tested things. Well, now I can actually share this video. So for me, I've sold hundreds and thousands of dollars worth of final expense life insurance. I came into the industry not knowing what to do. I've been able to figure out how to generate my leads, you know, actually sell, remain profitable and actually make money in this industry without building a team that's actually making me money. Everything that I've done for myself is really just off my personal pen. And it's very uncommon that that happens, but I just want to be transparent and share with you guys the reality, the truth of this business, and most importantly, help those who are fighting for their family or just trying to make some extra money. So if you're thinking about quitting your job, I would say start this business part-time, understand who's leading you and guiding you. Most importantly, is the person leading and guiding you actually doing the work with you, figuring out the systems, building the thing with you, actually helping you make money, or are they just simply using you as a testimony to recruit people into the business under you to then make money off of them? So please be mindful of your current situation, understand kind of how this insurance industry works. And I hope this video just gives you true transparency of all those people on Instagram or people on YouTube or the recruiters that are reaching out to you on their true agendas to hopefully help you just understand what it's actually like. So again, I do not want to discourage you. You can make a lot of money in insurance. You can work from home. You can sit in your chair without a college degree, simply what I did. You can use your insurance license to build this asset in your life. But what type of game are you willing to play? and what type of values do you have? And then you look at yourself in the mirror and say, how am I gonna actually pull this off? So I love you guys. This means so much to me, like this building the audience and just sharing my story with you guys because I hope I can bring a ton of value. So if you guys need anything, hit me up. Uh, we also have like a sales group that's coming out. It's a free private group where we're gonna help sell, help you sell, help you train. Share some of my secrets all for free because I want you to win. So love you guys so much. If you need anything, DM me. I'm here for you. I want you to win and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.